Greetings out there in YouTube land and welcome to today's video, which hopefully will be fairly short and very sweet. As with so many of the videos, it's in response to uh, several comments and inquiries I received regarding the uh, Blue Anatech uh, ESR meter and its ability to measure electrolytic capacitors in a tube amp power supply. Apparently, Anatec has released a video in which they state that uh, the blue meter is not reliable for measuring filter capacitors uh, in a power supply rail. And there are some people who just feel that this device is intended only for rather low voltage capacitors in printed circuit boards and not for tube amp use. Let's address both of those uh, inquiries and see if we can put them to rest. First, regarding the Anatec video, uh, and I will place a link in the description of this video showing you how to get there and what are the time intervals of interest. Uh, but if you watch that video, you'll see that yes, they say that um, trying to measure uh, electrolytic capacitors in a power supply rail uh, is not effective with this device. Now, but if you listen closely, the power rail that they draw in both the diagram and that they discuss does not have the internodal resistors that a tube amplifier power rail generally has. Now, if you were to eliminate these resistors and just have a straight piece of wire across the top and across the bottom, then the capacitors would be wired in parallel and you could not use the ESR meter to accurately get any readings for reasons that we'll see in just a minute. But when you do have the resistors in between each of the nodes of the capacitors, uh, I believe I'll be able to demonstrate to you that you can get very, very reliable, reproducible readings uh, of ESR values on all three capacitors. So with regard to the Anatec video, I think if you watch it closely uh, in the intervals that I put in this video description, you'll see that they're discussing a different type of power supply rail than we uh, are uh, used to seeing in our uh, tube amp power supplies that have internodal resistors. The one in their video does not. Secondly, for those who feel that the meter is not suitable for the high voltage uh, types of capacitors that we use in tube amps, uh, I think we'll be able to demonstrate that uh, that is simply not true. Okay, let's get started and see if we can uh, put these two rumors to rest. First off, let's say that ESR is only one of three important criteria when you're judging electrolytic capacitors. The other is their actual capacitance. And third, uh, their ability to withstand working voltages without breaking down. Uh, the ESR meter only tests one of the three characteristics. What you see here is just a portion of my very elaborate and sophisticated experimental uh, setup. Um, it consists at this point of a 33 microfarad at 450 electrolytic capacitor, a 22 microfarad at 450 electrolytic, and they are linked together by a 1000 ohm resistor. In a second, we're going to add a third and very, very faulty electrolytic capacitor over here and connect it with the 1000 ohm uh, resistor. Now to make the faulty capacitor, uh, I, since I didn't have one on hand, I throw them all away. I took a new 10 microfarad at 450 and soldered in series a 36 ohm resistor. Remember that ESR is equivalent series resistance. So to the ESR meter, and for all intents and purposes, this is a 10 microfarad capacitor with an ESR value of 36, which is about, uh, what, 18 or 20 times what it should be. It should be down around 1.8 or something like that. Uh, we'll test it just so that you see I'm not making this up. Okay, here's my capacitance meter, and it says 9.69 microfarads for our faulty capacitor. And with our nicely zeroed ESR meter, we see that we have a reading of 36. 
So now the faulty high ESR value capacitor has been installed in our replica of a tube amp power supply output rail. All of the negative uh, leads from the filter capacitors come down here to this uh, ground which represents the chassis of the amplifier and up above we have the positive ends connected with uh, internodal resistors in between, in between each point of attachment. It should be noted that these resistors are not present in the Anatec video uh, power rail and are the difference between the power supply uh, rail that we deal with with tube amps and the one that they discuss in their video. In their video, the electrolytic capacitors truly are wired in parallel. In this uh, type of power supply rail for tube amps, they really aren't because the positive ends are separated by resistors. Now here is where a major source of confusion arises. When people try to measure the capacitance of, say, this 33 microfarad capacitor in their uh, power supply rail of a tube amp, they'll get a value much higher, 58.7 microfarads. Now this value reflects the total capacitance of all three capacitors, which even though they aren't strictly wired in parallel, behave like they are when you try to take readings with a capacitance meter. Now let's see if our ESR meter can give us good reliable readings uh, on these three individual capacitors. Uh, where the uh, capacitance meter could not. First, let's hook on to the 33 microfarad capacitor, which had a uh, ESR reading of 0 0.67 out of circuit. In circuit, 0 0.65, which is virtually identical. Uh, the 22 microfarad capacitor had a reading of 1.4 out of circuit. 1.3, virtually identical. And our very faulty uh, final uh, 10 microfarad capacitor which had a reading of 36 now has a reading of 35 and so as you can see all three filter capacitors gave very good reproducible reliable readings despite being in circuit within the power supply rail in conclusion, I think it's been demonstrated that the Anatec Blue ESR meter can indeed give very good, reliable readings on a tube amplifier power supply filter capacitors while they are in circuit. Rusty and I really appreciate your time and interest and hope to see you again in future videos. Thanks for watching. Hey Rusty, you going to help me with this video? Huh? People are asking for the kitty. Oh, oh, I see the tail. That's good luck.